everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Sick for the Hunt. We're actually here at the Pure Whitetail Farm, as you can see. We got Cash walking away from us right now. Of course, as soon as we turn the camera on, he walks away. But we got, well, I'm gonna show you this real quick. He's a little, uh... he, he ain't happy that we're in his pen. No. Say, bucks are starting to rut here. This is Tank. This is Mr. Tank. He will be, he will be a pretty friendly. They're more standoffish right now because you know they're coming in the rut. They they don't know what they're doing. So a little honeysuckle, they like it. So that's what we got going on. We're here at the Pure Whitetail Farm today. This is where all the products that Pure Whitetail sells gets collected. It's where they all get made. Yep. This is where they all get bottled, and we still do it one bottle at a time, right? Yep. One bottle at a time, we do it all ourselves. So it's rough. It's rough. It ain't no joke, man. It, with the amount that we're selling now, um, it, it keeps us busy. It keeps us busy. I'm, right. glad, I'm glad I got you off subject, yep. because I really don't want to talk about this one. I think Tank might be knocking our camera over here in just a second. <laughs> he might. Yeah. So. so. But what do you mean you don't want to talk about this one? <laughs> I don't want to talk about this one. You don't want to talk about this? No. Hey, do, hey Junior. Hey, Junior. Our camera's about ready to get knocked over. So you're probably gonna have, you, have you ever seen you know, that camera picture with the bucket just put the cord in there? Yeah. Well, they probably just got that. They probably just got that. <laughs> what are you stepping there, bro? Oh, he turned it on him. Oh. What are you doing? Let me go adjust it. So, hey, this is real life right here at the Pure Whitetail Farm. This is what we do every day. And uh, this is what we love, man. We're addicted to this kind of stuff. Check out, I mean, how many people can say they're, they get a, you know, what, what is he, 280, 290? I'd say 280, 290 this year. Yeah, he's probably 280, 290. This is Tank, he's a four and a half year old. This is Cash back here. He's gotten a little bit smaller this year. He's probably only about 240, but he's a four and a half year old. But this is where all the Pure White Tail products gets made. This is where they all get uh, collected from, made, and bottled right here. Now, let's talk about this Wyoming hunt. <laughs> oh. How many times was it? It was a bunch. It was a bunch. Yeah, it was a bunch. I even used your gun. You even you, yeah, you had to, it, yeah, his gun. He's like, all right, I need a new one. <laughs> and I need my gun. Hey, at least I broke yours in. Yeah, yeah, my, my gun's broke in now. So, but uh, we had an awesome time out there. We're rolling into camp right now. We're getting ready to go out for the first morning's hunt. And uh, I'm up to bat first. So uh, we'll see what happens. Let's That's go. Right. Yeah. 
right now we're getting ready to go out for the first morning's hunt and uh, I'm up to bat first so uh, we'll see what happens let's go right. there's a couple out there behind you ranging You go hunt with Josh Martin and he forgets his bullets. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> hey, I might need this. Take, taking your time, you know, just hey. I tell you. I mean, come on, bro. At least, at least I was safety first <laughs> and I didn't have my. Have your bullets. Have <laughs> <laughs> your bullets. I mean, what kind of guy are you hunting with, right? <laughs> Say the first. Took that to the extreme, didn't I? <laughs> All right, guys, here's what we got. We set through this hail storm and snowstorm, and the wind ain't quit, but the hail and the, the snow has, and the sun's breaking through the clouds. So the weather's moving fast. So we got to get out of here. We're going to put a stalk on this. Uh, antelope that Rudy's been sitting here watching while me and Grant took a little quick cat nap so he said wake up it's time to go so we're getting ready to get out of the truck and see if we can put a stalk on this antelope he's a dandy so hopefully we can get on him so here we go What an unbelievable hunt right there. 35 mile an hour crosswind. When we were sitting in the truck, the truck was actually- It just moved. snowed. Yeah, it just snowed. Like a complete whiteout. Yeah. So 35 mile an hour crosswind, 
crosswind 560 yard shot but what an unbelievable hunt that was for me now i get to get behind the camera and we'll see if grant can uh, i make it exciting would you definitely make it exciting, I make it exciting. yeah definitely make it exciting so we're going to see if grant can get the job done on a goat too yards but you just, but you didn't you just don't have cutters you didn't have the confidence we're to take the aisle, shot we're in aisle three by aisle five i'll pull the trigger no yeah i doubt you so now we just uh we spotted one out here uh couldn't really tell you what he was he was facing us uh walked up probably about 100 yards and you just don't have really good cutters on him so i passed i mean they're everywhere I, I looked through my scope and I could see him running around, so we're just going to keep on hunting and looking and hopefully find a decent one because I know they're out here. We've seen them this morning already for sure, and it's cold. So I'm going back to the truck. <laughs> He's out there in front of us now. video they'll they'll edit it all out won't yep. admit it but we always put ours in there yep so uh all right that's your first antelope first antelope ever here in wyoming tyler sims look at here guys this is my first one ever oh man look at that that's pretty awesome got some curls look how wide he is too that's just I mean, that's, that's bad to the bone. <laughs> that's awesome. That's my, whew. It's been rough, like I said. I know. Uh, but got it done, second day. I mean, less than 24 hours. Me and Josh have both gotten goats out here. And just amazing. I mean, Tyler Sims' place is awesome. The lodge is awesome. And the, 
the hunting is unbelievable, I can tell you that for sure. So. Hey, what an unbelievable hunt with Tyler Sims Outfitters out there in Wyoming. I've never seen to be uh, antelope before. Well, we figured before noon on the first day, we figured we seen what? A thousand antelope? Every bit of it. I mean, it was unbelievable. It was crazy. Yeah. Hey, I will say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rat him out a little bit. Okay. Our guy? Yeah. He said, I can't let you shoot till afternoon. Or I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> and I go, let one of you shoot today. Yeah. Well, it took me more than one day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how many that's how many goats it was. They didn't want us both to tag out in the first 10 minutes of the hunt because there's so many antelope. The outfitter actually wanted us to have an experience. Yeah. It is an absolutely unbelievable place to hunt. Tyler Sims Outfitters in McFadden, Wyoming. The lodging's awesome. The lodging is phenomenal. The hunt was phenomenal. Tyler's great. Our guide, Rudy, was amazing. Just an unbelievable experience, and I, I can't wait to get out there with them guys again. Great. But once again, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube YouTube channel. Yeah, I sounded you. I, I, I really screwed that one up. Yeah. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. He would appreciate it. Yeah, Tank would appreciate it, and so would Cash. Yeah. They would love it if you would do that for us. But, hey, thanks again, everybody, for following along with all of us here at Sick for the Hunt. We leave here in a couple of days to go out and bring you another good hunt. I just had a kill in Kentucky, and I think yeah. that's going to be the next episode. We're going to try to get that up right away. Oh, wow. I just talked awesome. to Josh, our editor, and he said he wanted to get that up right away, so we're going to do that. I uh, just killed last week, uh, last weekend in Kentucky with uh, Del, my buddy Del Ferguson. So uh, we're going to see how that works out. Won't you show him the old grip and grin with the well, live grip and grin time? No. Grip and grinning right there, boys and girls. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Oh, Tank, he's a good boy. Yeah. I mean, this time of the year, they, you know, they get they get feisty like you see right now. But, you know, the rest of the year after the horns come back off, they're back to being puppy dogs, and they love to be loved on. I mean, that's what he's wanting. Right. He pushes, he's like, hey, yeah. keep on loving on me. So. And you notice how stress-free our deer are? A lot of operations, you see them running in the stalls with a four-wheeler and stuff. We don't do that here. Like, you just, you just seen Grant say, hey, come here. And Tank walked over to him. Uh, we pride ourselves here at Pure Whitetail in stress-free collection. Our deer are easy going. They live a phenomenal life. So stress-free products equals success for you guys. Yep. Once again, guys, thanks for all you do for Pure Whitetail and Sick for the Hunt. We love you very much. Grant, sign us off. Guys, love you. Thank you. Come see us. You know, if you ever want a product that works, check out purewhitetail.com. Love you. See y'all. All right. Hey, how many people gripped and grinned behind a live view? <laughs> right there. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 I think I've got another brand. He's always aggravating crap out of me. Oh, shoot.